In this lesson, we will see the fifth technique for running tasks using the Threads API. On your screen, you can see a new bare bones skeleton class on the left hand side. I have also opened the fourth technique class on the right hand side, again for comparison sakes. Now, this one is a quick and dirty technique. In this technique, we are going to use an inline task definition by using an anonymous inner class implementation of the runnable interface. We will provide this definition to a thread object and then invoke the start method on that thread object. So first of all, we are going to create an anonymous implementation of the runnable interface. Now, as part of the main logic of the task, we are going to use the same code that we have used in the previous examples. So we are going to copy it from the run method in the fourth task class into our anonymous implementation. An anonymous implementation cannot be reused. It is going to create a single object of the implemented class only. So there is no need for the task identity here. Let's remove it from the sysout. Now to start the thread, we can call the start method directly on the thread instance in the same statement itself like this. The class is ready. Let's run it now. Nothing special about this output. We spawned only a single thread here. The main thread starts a child thread and then ends. The child thread then gets the CPU and goes on to carry out its job. And after completing its job, it ends. So in the fifth technique, as opposed to creating a separate reusable task, we have provided an inline task to the thread object and started it there itself. Having said that, no one is stopping us from capturing the thread reference here if we want. Executing it now. Same output as before. This technique is mostly used to handle UI events in applications. To handle UI events, you do not need to create multiple instances of a task. Instead, whenever an event occurs, a task object is generated from the inline definition and is used there and then to handle the event. That's all I had for this lesson. Hope you enjoyed watching it. Starting from the next one, we will discuss how to execute tasks using the executors API.